Welcome back to another Bow Disciples video. You know what it is, this video might be trash. I'm just gonna keep it a hundred, <laughs> but uh, it, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna go check a couple cams. It is local uh, A22 hunting season right now. And if you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of our local deer. Um, so anyways, gonna go out, gonna, I, I, I'm, I set one cam earlier today at one of my spots. Uh, I, I pulled a cam like last week because it was out of battery. So I put batteries in that one and I'm going to go reset it. And then I'm checking three cameras um, that I have actively out right now. Um, I have fresh batteries um, in, in, in the cameras and I also have brought a bunch of double A's. So if I need new batteries, uh, that is something I will be able to facilitate today. Uh, as far as the update goes, um, you know, I've, I've checked cameras like once or twice. I had a doze, a little spike, and then I had one decent buck. Um, you know, but to be honest with you guys, I've talked about this in videos before. Um, mo most of the time when the magic happens in San Diego County, at least for me throughout the years, um, is in December. Um, and last year, between me and my dad, usually it's not uncommon for us to go four for four on our local tags in the season. But last year, uh, we actually went only one for four. Um, and it's not because we couldn't have filled tags. You can go watch the videos. We had, you know, bucks right in front of us and does right in front of us many times. But um, for us, you know, not, not being meat poor, um, it's more so about taking the correct animal. So we're going for older bucks, injured deer, or older dry does. Um, so that's kind of the game plan. And if we don't fill a tag, we don't fill a tag. But um, again, we're not, we're not real desperate for meat. It's more so just about being in the field and uh, having an opportunity to, uh, to see deer. So that's what's going on. And I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. It's October 1st today. Um, I have shot, like I said, I shot most of my, my local bucks in November. Same with my dad. But um, the biggest, we call him the horse, an absolute legend of a local buck. 135 inch, 213 pounds, San Diego County deer. Uh, I got that buck, I think it was like October 15th. So sometimes them, them, them lunkers, um, you know, will surprise you on the time of year they choose to show up. So, um, depending what does show up, you know, I got, we got ground blinds, tree stands, we got all the tools at, at our disposal. Um, so at this point it's just about, uh, finding where the deer are and then picking the best way, uh, to approach them which if you guys know, I've, again, I've talked about this before, uh, my favorite way to hunt is spot and stock, um, but I will do whatever it takes to be successful. And in San Diego, typically, um, at least in my experience, and my dad's experience, um, typically that involves sitting a blind or a tree stand. So we got the tools, now, uh, now we just need a big old boy or, or, or old girl to show up and uh, hopefully we can get it done. So anyways, this is probably my longest intro ever, <laughs> three and a half minutes in. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I know people like my local videos, so we'll get back on doing some of those. Um, really, I've just been kind of chilling, kind of resetting after the elk hunt. You know, it's so much effort, so much time. You come back exhausted and... Uh, you know, honestly, I haven't even shot my bow since, which you guys know I shoot my bow all the time, so that's saying something. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's nice to just hit a little reset. And right now, you know, I, I, I feel like it's time to uh, to ramp it back up. So let's get it done, and uh, I'll see you guys when we're checking camps. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. it's that time of year, boy. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, there she is, boy. So, got some fresh deer poop. A really nice trail coming right through here. And I set my camera right here. 
and then the path runs right through here. So, a lot of sign. I think this is actually a pretty good spot. So, we'll come back in a week and check it out. Um, so, it was actually pretty good. Um, had a couple little bucks, one decent fork, um, you know, and a couple does on camera. Um, so, it's pretty early to be seeing seeing bucks. I'm excited about that. And, um, you know, I got my other camera set on a good spot now, so pretty excited. And uh, time to go check one of my other spots. Well, it ended up being actually pretty encouraging today. Um, set a cam, set two cameras, checked three, and all of them had um, deer. And actually two decent bucks, like little forked horns. Um, not a buck I'd personally take. Um, unless I really needed meat, which I do not. Um, but again, for it being October 1st, already off to a way better start than last year. Um, last year there was like only tiny spikes and does. And, um, you know, even during the rut there was only tiny little forks. And I've already seen probably three bucks better than almost every buck I saw last year. With the exception of uh, two or three. Um, and it's October 1st. So, I'm excited. It's going to be a good year. And um, yeah, I love local deer hunting. And I know a lot of my viewers, um, I have viewers from all over the place, but a lot, a lot of people from SoCal. So if you guys have been out and have been hunting and have been checking cams, um, let me know. Leave a comment how, how it's been going for you. And uh, yeah, looking forward to a good season. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.